Hola. Como estas? I am back. This is gonna be monthly favorites. Actually, this is gonna be a favorites. Plus a haul kind of video. Um, because I actually got some more stuff. I need to stop buying things, but for some reason, I just really feel like buying stuff lately. Like, I've never felt this inclination to like purchase things. Hopefully my hair looks good. I decided to do a style. I don't really know if it's like cute or not, but guess we'll find out, right? This Glam Glow Super Cleanse. Um, I showed this in my recent haul video. It's like a charcoal kind of face wash and it's so it looks like a mud mask at first. What you do is you put it on your face like it would a mud mask and I let mine sit for about two to three minutes before I actually wash it off. I take a shower or whatever I'm gonna do um, before I actually start rinsing my face. Put this on with your face dry. You wet your hands, proceed to lather the face wash into your face. And then when your hands are wet with warm water, it's kind of like working as a cleanser. So it's cleansing your face. Um, but it's like, a, it's, it's almost like washing your face with a mask. It's weird. I really, really like it. The only thing is it takes a lot longer for me to wash my face with this, which I mean, if you're, okay with pampering yourself every day that's fine but i'm really like sometimes i'm impatient and i don't feel like washing this off but i've learned that if you like put it on and then get in the shower do what you got to do and then wash it off in the shower that works too i really like this and i hope that you guys cannot hear cameron playing trivia crack in the background i haven't noticed it breaking me out or anything i have gotten a few bumps since i've used it but they're in my hormonal area which is normal when flow is about to visit those up on my forehead and on my chin area twice or three times a week i will go back with my um baking soda because i have noticed that using this um it gets my face squeaky clean but baking soda has been the only thing i noticed that could kill a hormonal bump or acne breakout overnight. I do have to keep using my baking soda, but it's really good, it's worth the money, it makes you feel like, you know, you're glamorous when you're putting it on, so. I mean, it's glam glow, so. You glow and you glam. Will I buy it again? I don't know, we'll see. But I'm gonna use it up, because I bought it, so. Um, I will continue to use it to see if I'm Yeah, I was talking to you, sir. Sorry. I'm filming. I forgot. <laughs> it's okay. I also really love this Trader Joe's coconut body butter that I got from Trader Joe's, obviously. What I love about this is, um, unlike the pumpkin body butter that I've tried, it has a flip top i don't know why i love that so much i just really like that and i feel like this one actually has more product in it i really love this though it smells really really good even though i don't like coconut stuff but this smells really good um it makes me feel really really nice my skin is really soft when i use it and i'm really glad that i picked this up i was using the warm vanilla sugar body butter from bath and body works and i took it with me to mexico and then coming back through like customs and all that stuff and they took it from me so i don't know why i mean it's not like you can you know infuse some kind of bomb in into your cream besides the point i really like that body butter um it's really really good it feels really really nice so next product that i want to talk about of course and i think that i'm going to do a full review on this i'm not sure yet but i think i am going to do a separate on its own review but this is the nars all day i always want to say sheer glow all day luminous weightless foundation Everybody's been talking about it. Everybody's been ranting and raving about it. I've talked about it multiple times on my channel already. And this is just my favorite. It is a great foundation. I don't know. It's just really great. I'm wearing it right now. So I'm I think I'm going to do a full review on this. Let me know if you guys want to see one um, where I can more in depth explain how it works um, and how I apply it and everything like that. Um, just let me know. I thought that I covered talking about the foundation and telling you that I wore it, but people still don't know what foundation I wear. So obviously I haven't done my job, right? Also, something else that I mentioned in my haul video recently was the 
Better Than Sex Mascara. I have it on today and let me just tell you that this is one of the best mascaras I've ever used. So that's definitely a favorite of the month. I'm not gonna go into detail because I talked about it in my haul video. Two products that I didn't talk about in my haul video that I did get this month are two MAC lip liners that I just purchased. I got Strip Down and Hover. Strip Down is more of a nude, like a super, super nude. Like it literally matches my lip color and skin color like perfectly and I don't really like that because that's not what I was going for I was going for more of a not mauve but I wanted something that was a little darker than my skin tone but not too dark to be like lime crime Salem but not too light to be like a nude I wanted somewhere in between didn't really get that with stripped down but I really like hover that's what I have on my lips right now with uh Milani's Naturally Chic. These two mixed together are really good and I've been wearing those like that. And I don't remember where I got this from. I think I got it in one of my Ipsy Land bags. I think. This is an amazing eyebrow pencil. Like I've been using it and I actually find myself reaching for this more than my Anastasia uh, Brow Wiz pencil. I mean look how much I've used. Like it's so little now. I don't know the consistency of the product is like waxier I think so not only does it like deposit a heavier color but it helps my brows to like stay in place like the brow is it's just like to fill in you know what I mean like it doesn't set your eyebrows but this one like sets it forgets it I don't know how to describe it I have it on right now and it just it looks so good like I don't know and I really hope I can find I don't know where you buy it I don't know how to find this all I know is that it's awesome and I'm gonna have to figure out where to get this from because I'm almost out. It's so sad. You are awesome. Now I'm done talking about the makeup that I've been using. I want to talk about some things that I got from Ulta. Can't just discriminate. I can't be like hey Sephora what's up and buy everything from Sephora and then not buy something from Ulta because I mean uh, Real Techniques new line of brushes. Um, I think it was in January actually and I was like waiting to get my money so that I could buy something from the bold metals collection so i got two bold metal brushes got these two right here this one is the arched powder brush so it's just a dome shaped powder fluffy brush um i just wanted one of the gold ones and one of the uh, rose gold ones so the rose gold brush that i got is the flat contour super excited about this because i don't have any other brushes that are flat like this that can contour and since i've been wearing a cream contour now i need something that busts it in really good and i've been using the expert face brush i don't want it to get like disfigured from being pressed into the hollows of my cheeks like super hard so i wanted to get something that was specifically made for contouring i decided to get this and it's a rose gold color i think this one was 25 and this one was 25 too i'm not sure they are a little more expensive than the real techniques brushes that came out before but they are better quality the brush head and the bristles are better really excited to try these i also got another brush from real techniques i got their retractable kabuki brush because when i'm traveling or when i'm like on the go and i need to touch up my face i don't have a brush for that so i wanted to get a brush that i could like retract and put in my purse and things like that so i got real techniques um miracle complexion sponge got a two pack i used one today on my face it's really nice really really soft it's a lot better than the other dupes that i've tried for the beauty blender this one's a lot different than the beauty blender though because it has this cutoff right here so you can use it to like contour or whatever um it's a really great quality sponge it's not like super hard or anything it soaks up water pretty good and it doesn't soak up a lot of product so i was really excited i've been wanting to buy these for a while so really glad that I got them. I think that's all for my makeup guys. Like I said I don't have a lot of stuff to show this month and I'm sorry but I don't have a lot to show. I don't know where my ma- I'm going to introduce a new segment of my monthly favorites and this is going to be my monthly grocery favorites. Now I don't have a lot of grocery favorites. I actually had more to talk about but I, I, I ate it all and threw it away and I forgot to keep the package so I'm not going to show it this month. I'm going to show it next month. This month I want to talk about one of my favorite pickups from Trader Joe's and that would have to be this extra ginger brew all natural jamaican style ginger beer this is like literally the best thing i've ever drank in my life it's so good okay they had ginger brew before like during the holidays and they sold completely out like completely i went and bought it and then the next week they were gone and they were like nope we don't have any more i was like are you kidding me so i waited a while for them to come back with something like this and this one is really good too like it's awesome I'm so sad that it only comes in packs of four and they only had one left so I could only get one pack of four and we literally we tried to stretch it for a week guys it just didn't 
didn't work out the way. That's why this one's empty. It's not real beer. It's not like alcohol. It's like root beer, but ginger beer. It's really good. It's just like ginger ale, but like more ginger ale-y. If that, if that makes sense at all. If you have a Trader Joe's near you, you should try it. And then now I wanna talk about my favorite app of the month, cause I do have my app of the month segment. So app of the month, this month is, drum roll please, Trivia Crack. Okay, so I'm pretty much addicted to Trivia Crack. And if you know about Trivia Crack, you know why. Crack is whack, but Trivia Crack is awesome. I would tell y'all to play me, but the thing is, I already have like 12 people playing me right now. So you're gonna have to wait because I don't have enough lives to play more people. So you're gonna have to wait until I get done with these people and I kick their butt and then I can kick your butt. You learn stuff from it too. So if you like, even if you lose, you're learning something. So it's a win-win situation. I feel like that's a great way to stay smart. I think that's it. Is that it? Is that it? Is that it? Um, also, I am gonna say that I'm spring cleaning this month. So if you got some chump change and you wanna shop my closet, check out the Depop app. I will put a link to, if you can put a link to an app, I think you can, in the description box, you guys can check it out um, and check out some new stuff that I'm selling. Be sure to check that out. Any other information you need will be in the description box as usual. And I will talk to you guys in my next video.